cesspools, septic tanks, treatment plants. See our website. Hi, my name is Jerry, and I'm a senior engineer and trainer at ASL. I specialize in sewage systems. Maybe I shouldn't be proud of that, but I am. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you some old pictures to help me explain the old cesspit. The one where we used to throw an old dog in there or an old rabbit to break down the solids. Then I'm going to talk about the cost and installation, the cost and installation, uh, and the maintenance of cesspools. And then quite a bit about septic tanks, a little bit about conversions from old cesspools or old septic tanks, and of course, treatment plants themselves. Well, what do you think? Let's start with tanks before we had mains water. The toilet was either in a wooden shed or a brick built building outside the main house. There were no drains, of course, and it was a bucket under a toilet seat, either in the wooden shed outside or inside the building uh, later, uh, as, as they did. Um, and what you did was you collected the bin underneath the toilet seat or, uh, well, yes, underneath the toilet seat, uh, and or a, or a small bucket, uh, which was full of sewage and paper, and you chucked it in a big hole. The pit was done by hand, it was dug by hand, and was lined with stones so it would leach out. When they used a pit for a while, and it got too full, they would just dig another one. When they used a pit a hundred years ago or more, they had no mains water. You often were advised to throw in the old dog or the old dead rabbit. But then there was 60% solids and 40% water. Now make a note of that because as we got mains water connected to the houses, this shit changed dramatically. But at the, time, at the time when we had no water, you can imagine uh, because you had to go and get the water from the well, and by the way, I've connected some in my lifetime. I know I look older than what I am possibly, but I have connected some. Uh, but when we had to go and fetch the water, we were sparing with it. So therefore, it was more solids than it was water. You just used the minimum amount of water to, to actually um, get it in the bottom of the bucket, as they say. When we had mains water, well, clothes were cleaned by hand. Not many washing machines around when we first got the water. No need for the dead dog or the dead dog or the dead rabbit because now there was 30% solids and and 70% water. So there was a shift already. They often made a hole in the side of this cesspit um, and they would get rid of water any way they could. Eventually tankers were around and took away stuff when they felt as though they were too full and the farmer often spread it on his fields. And there was no regard for the type of water because then uh, the environmental agency was, didn't exist. So there was no one really worried, I don't think, but some people were still green then, but a lot of people didn't worry. And it was the done thing, you know, just to get rid of it. And, it, and no one thought that made a difference in my opinion, although I'm sure there was people that did. Well, there was no regards for the ground and it was, definitely worked better in the summer and it was terrible in the winter as it is, as it is with some of the ones they're using today. How modern deceptive tanks work? Two people is the ideal in light aerated ground. Or if it's in porous chalk, what we're encouraged to do by the environmental agency is to spread it evenly over the chalk so it doesn't go straight through the chalk and pollute the, uh, the, water, the water course which may be uh, a, a very long way down but um, if we didn't spread it then there was a risk of that. Six or seven people is too many especially if they've got modern washing machines and dishwashers and lots of modern appliances. A modern septic tank and soakaways has to be thought through and designed properly especially when the numbers are up to four and five. A septic tank is in two parts, which makes one system, the, tank, the septic tank system. The tank and the land drains. So it's the tank and the land drains make up the system. The cost is in three parts, installation of the tank, the land drains, and the servicing, the emptying once a year or 
whenever we get it emptied, and most people do get it emptied once a year. You can go two years. But depending on the ground, the insulation of the land drains must be capable of the amount of people in the property and is subject definitely to the ground conditions. And of course, the area available. The cost of, of the maintenance, which is the engine, cost is in the region of around a thousand pound a year over a 10 year period. I've already given you the costs that I think could be, you know, it's, it's about evenly, for the land range, it's about three and a half thousand pound uh, for a modern household with modern appliances, and it's about three and a half thousand to have a decent tank in there. But the thing is, when I say a thousand pound over 10 years, what about the tanks, and there are many that are designed properly and, and put together properly, um, after 10 years, that's a thousand pound a year for 10 years, but after 10 years, you can get another 10 years. And that's, in my is 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 a bonus free a gift because you've adhered to the rules of a septic tank. It might be helpful for you to look at the video after this one to do with preventive methods and good maintenance. There's lots of tricks you can do, um, like having a party at Christmas time. Have the tank empty before you before you have the party. You might have an old septic tank, but I don't mean a cesspool with one chamber, which is a cesspool which is just one chamber, and it's also got a discharge. If the ground is wet, it's not a septic tank system. So if it's just one chamber, or it's discharging into wet ground, then, or if it's got two chambers and dis discharge into wet ground, it is not a septic tank. If your old system has two chambers and discharges into light, good ground, then there's no difference. The modern onion type system, and the same as I've just explained, uh, it's the cheapest system to maintain, it's the cheapest system in my view to put in, so therefore you've got the best system if you've got a semi tank. Now the modern cesspool, the 4,000 gallon, 18,000 litre, which is your legal right by the way, uh, which is containment only, no discharge. I consider this the last resort because there is no other system available. If there's no other system available, then we have to put this one in. That's why it's illegal, right? If you have a house, you've got to have a, or not a system, but you've got to have somewhere to put your sewerage. And because it doesn't discharge, it's not a system. You fill it up and you get it empty. Well, typical costs for a three bedroom house for a 4,000 gallon cesspool, depending on how careless or careful you are in the house with water, in my experience, it's likely that you will have to remove 2,000 gallon of sewage water every month. Nobody uses a cesspit properly from what I see. They have a 4,000 gallon cesspool and they let it fill up and then they get 2,000 taken off and they let it fill up again and they get 2,000. I think you'd be doing that every month. And that's being careful. You can imagine though, if you have a large family and you have guests frequently, you'll have as much as 2,000 gallon out of your tank 12 times a year. And that's being careful. Well, if you work, the, if you do the figures, over 10 year period, that's 10,000 to 30,000 pound just for maintaining. Nobody wants to live in a house with a cesspool that is containment I'm talking about because of the quality of life, because of the restrictions. Because you know what it's like when you bring your, your friends in or whatever. You, oh, we can't bring our friends in this weekend because the tank's in. Oh, they're using too much water. The, qu the quality of life is not good. And as I say, the cost over 10 years, well, is enormous. But then to put the, put the thing in, in the beginning, if you had to put it in, that is. If you've got one, you have to live with those costs. If you haven't got one, but you've got to put one in in order to build a house or to have the house, then the cost would be in the region of £15,000. And also on top of that, if it's bad ground, if it's wet ground, which is likely to be, um, then for dewatering, you can add another 5,000 pound of that. So it's good to have a cesspool. I call that failure. Now, converting an old fashioned septic tank or a cesspool, well, for that, I will need pictures. Well worth your effort. I will need pictures and little videos. Be careful the videos because they, they take a little bit of sending as you probably know. And I need to know a description of the terrain. Is it on a hill? Is it on a slope? Is the tank 
uh, invert level in deep ground because I can utilize on these things, I can use these things. Is the tank camouflaged or hidden by trees or shrubbery? There are various things that can be done to create an environment for the water to be treated. In other words, we could create clean water. Below and above ground this can be done often avoiding massive charges of the dewatering and sheet piling. Save money on not infilling the old system or having to install another chamber. By converting your system there is some massive, massive savings. Now the modern treatment plant. Well, I believe in less working parts the better. That's my opinion based on maintenance, based on uh, 20 years of looking at these things and which I enjoy the job by the way, I, I'm a job. I need to dig or we need to dig a deep, a deep test hole needs to be dug, needs to be dug. Um, is there running water under the ground? Is there running sand in the ground? Because these things are important if we're going to install a treatment plant. Is there reasonable access? All the systems are designed for a specific number of people. If you want to have it for two to four people, then you have to get a, a particular designed treatment plant. You probably know all this, but I'll have to go over it. If it's, if it's up to seven or eight people, you have to get a, a, another type of system or a, a, a system designed for that many. All systems except a cesspool need somewhere to discharge to. A running stream, a river, it's like... Uh, ground which doesn't, uh, the prostate is not very good, those circuits have to be designed really well and you've got a better chance by having a treatment plant because it's clean water. Uh, we, we often plant trees to suck up the water uh, to, get the, to get the ground to be dry. We have to design the discharge carefully because the quality of your life depends on it. We can install a pump to stop backfilling. Now there mustn't be any surface water in the system because you can imagine if there's surface water this pump's going to be kicking in every five minutes. If it's sealed system, if the drainage is sealed and in good shape, this pump only goes off twice a day if you're lucky. Uh, not lucky but it goes off twice a day so there's not a big cost. But if you found this video or some of the things in it, if you found it interesting or helpful, mention this video please to your neighbour or to someone that's got a septic tank or a treatment plant or to a friend who might know a friend. But at least do me a favour and press the like button. The like button. Don't press the, the, the wrong. Well, this is Jerry signing Sign off for now. My intention is to give you and your family a quality of life by giving you as much information as I can so that you are informed, so you can make an informed choice. This is Jerry. Bye for now. Bye bye. <laughs>